All right, welcome to my next video in my series here. Today we're going to do ultrasounds on five of our mirrors. And here we have Princess lined up. The veterinarian has already put his suitcase there, and he's ready to start working on it. We use a veterinarian who is also a professor at the University of Costa Rica, so he normally arrives with a carload full of students so they can learn something. And I guess this is the not-so-glorified aspect of being a horse veterinarian. There's a reason he has a glove in his hand right now. The horse's stomach is unfortunately too thick for the ultrasound to penetrate, so the only way to do this is to enter from behind. And the first thing he's going to do is uh, get rid of some horse poop. And there's only one way of doing that, manually. So here we go. I bet you he didn't think about that when he signed up to become a veterinarian. And, of course, she doesn't like it. We're talking to her, trying to keep her calm. We normally do these ultrasounds on all the mares once in the beginning to see if they are indeed pregnant, and then about half, about at the two-month point to make sure that they don't have twins. Horses should not be allowed to give birth to twins. And then we typically do it one more time towards the end to make sure that everything is okay and we have a good uh, date marked down for the birth. So here are all the students trying to learn something. Um, it is very, very hard to look at that picture. To me, it looks like spaghetti. Um, but the doctor has experience, and he is showing them what pieces he's looking at. This one here is a different horse. Uh, this is uh, Pirueta. She's also about eight months pregnant. So the foal at this stage is the size of a small dog, and it is very easy, if you are a veterinarian, to identify the parts. But again, you have to take the, the probe and enter um, through the back, hold it up against the uterus, and then you can see the different horse parts. He's about to point to the screen and point something else for the students. And here they all are again, checking out the picture, verifying. So all in all, a good experience. We have five pregnant mares. The first is going to give birth around February, and then we have a couple in May and a couple later on in the year. So hopefully I'll be able to follow up with some videos of horse birth and how the foals are progressing.